Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News on Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Wednesday, January 27th. T midnight 2021. Can you believe it? Atmospheric river impacting California, but the big story. Vegas area ski resorts, snowboard resort, Lee Canyon reports 27 inches of the global warming goodness in just 72 hours. Hours of powers. Keep calm. It's boom time. Can you believe it? We can't. Historic snowstorm in Des Moines breaks daily snowfall record previously set back in 1895. 120 years ago. That's quite a few days. Yes, if you start counting them up, 365, anyway. Des Moines, Iowa hasn't seen a winter storm like this week that drops more than a foot of snow since 2009, and the city has never recorded a snowier January 25th on Monday. Fun day. Snow started falling around New Monday in central Iowa and didn't stop until 10 a.m. Tuesday, their lose day, where they received 10.3 inches of snow that fell, ending Monday, a single new Day record, according to the National Weather Service, breaking the 126-year-old mark on January 24th back in 1895. Shut up, Al. Get your hole. Omaha measures biggest daily. Shut up, Al. Omaha measures biggest daily snowfall since 1975. Staying alive. Al was not fat then, but now he's bigger than a pig. Omaha, Nebraska, Monday snow will go down in history books as the seventh biggest daily snow on record and the most Omaha's ever seen in one day since 1975. Keep it alive, Omaha. We love you. Another big snowstorm could take aim at Wisconsin this weekend. Take pause and be prepared. Saturday and Sunday will not be your fun day. D.C. area sees increasing snow chances Sunday and Monday. And... Well, the Virginias are going to be hit, but D.C., who gives parts of the southern U.S., have seen more snow this month than Fairbanks, Alaska. Take a look. 12.4 inches, December, versus 3.6, 10.3 in January versus 0.1. And this is the actual monthly snowfall in December and January compared to monthly averages snowfall in Fairbanks. Yeah, pretty hilarious. That's called the meridional flow and the breakdown of the jet stream. We call it grand solar minimum. And we already talked about that article. That was a short article. As Michigan heads deep into winter, two large storms to watch in the next 10 days. Heads up, top knot. We'll get to the models. Atmospheric river impacting California. A major winter storm. Wait a minute. All right. Let's take a picture. That's not a schmicture. And let's take off the hat and put on some real funky stuff. Take a look at this. This is the 5G. Yeah, we're doing it now. That's the 5G tinfoilhat.co carbon fiber edition. A major winter storm with an active atmospheric river is inundating California in the next few days with a tremendous amount of moisture. Heavy to excessive rainfall is likely from central to southern California that may produce flooding along with mudslides, dangerous debris flows near recent and vulnerable burn scars. A significant amount of snow is anticipated in the Sierras with feet of snow. They've already gotten feet, more feet coming, and I'm a footman, so I wish I was in the Sierras. Now let's look at the GFS model. Hello. Here is your Friday. Look at that. Three feet of snow just through Friday in the Sierras all the way down to the crest. Saturday is our Saturday. Snow moving into Nevada. Arizona again, Smokabona. Arizona, Smokabona. And even into our region in the southwest. Four corners are going to be pummeled. We need it. We need that moisture. God darn it. But before then, take a look at this, what's happening in the east. On Thursday, tomorrow into the Friday, we're looking at six to eight inches in some extreme areas of the south. So heads up, all of South Carolina, North Kakalaki, Southern Virginia, right in this tippy point, all the way to the coast, we're going to be see, seeing some impressive totals of snow. D.C. area, not so much. Who gives about those tards, by the way? So here we go, moving it through Friday. Heavy snow in the west, that's the best. Dipping through into Saturday morning into Arizona. Heads up, Gazer. 
And then that system hop skips across the upper Midwest to bring snow to Michigan. Yes, take a look, Top Knot. You're going to get it. And watch these models, Knot. First, the Northeast is going to get it this weekend through Tuesday, their lose day, and then another system going to go boom time on the Northeast, as well as Canada, which is the Shamanida. But Michigan bring, bringing, up, bringing up the snow totals as well as Wisconsin. And look at Minnesota. Hello. Say it now, Soda. But it is. Seismic update. Weird quake out here in the middle of in Mongolia. 26 kilometers northwest, north of Turt. And that's at the surface. That could be a nuke. But we do have the most fresh kickoff in Neeland, California, 2.5. No other quakes of note except for here. Hello. Fellow in the Fiji region of 5.0. Blot echo down at 571. So something big is about to pop up onto the craton. But before that happens, let's take up more science. Scientists identify flank instability at a volcano with history of collapse. And if you read down into this, well, this is coming from Pennsylvania State University, my boyhood home. Landslides cause the collapse of unstable volcanoes are one of the major dangers in volcanic eruptions. Now let's talk about Pacaya. People have looked at the volcano with satellite remote sensing, but did not detect this long-term flank motion or creep. And this is a volcano, Pacaya, in Guatemala. And from 2011 to 2013, when the volcano was largely quiet, an increasing leading up to an eruption in 2014, previous work had not identified the flank motion. But it's flanking. And, and we're not stanking because we just told you about it. So Pacaya. One to look out for in Guatemala. Heads up, Michael, my neighbor. Sabancaya Volcano, Worldwide Volcano News Update. Sabancaya puffing to 25,000 feet, Sangay to 19. Marapi continuing its pummeling pyroclastic flows. Emissions to 19,000 feet after the pyroclastic flow. Emissions, Marapi, or was it Marapi? Yeah, localized volcanic emissions to 12,000. Reventador, on and on. Popo to 19,000. Fuego. And well, just check out the links for sake. I don't have much time. We only have nine minutes until the interview with David Dubine. Unique Maya mask found in Mexico. This is a, um, an amazing piece. It's based on a stone wall and a 3D boss relief. So please check this out. Gave me boost, goose pimples. Archaeologists discover boss relief of Golden Eagle Aztec Temple Mayor. And this is a Thunderbird, but they want to call it a Golden Eagle, whatever. We'll agree to disagree. But it was amazing. Why the recent signal that appears to come from Proxima Centauri almost certainly didn't? Well, gravity waves, which were once thought to be proven, were wasps fucking in a tube in the detector. So this one came from Earth as well. Probably someone puffing up a a hot pocket in the microwave that had too many glass or metal particles in it. That's just my opinion, but that's the way we work. Biden assigned major executive orders on climate change based on zero science whatsoever, and we're all going to suffer. So that's the buffer. Second, police officer died by suicide following the Capitol attack because he's just complicit as the rest of the in this non-insurrection that was basically a bunch of protesters that were let in and stayed within the lines. These are going to die in hell. Karma's a bitch, and politicians suffer just as much as, well, the peons like us. Geologic phenomena widening the Atlantic Ocean as if we never knew about subduction or inflation or uh, plate movement. But yes, they claim that there is an uprising from the mantle that's coming to the surface that's creating the Atlantic Ocean. Hey, 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 guys that wrote the article, did you know two, 223 million, 234 million years ago, there was no Atlantic at all? Africa had been touching North America and we just recently started spreading? No, you never got the memo. Well, I just told you. The Atlantic has been spreading for 230 million years. And regardless of what you say, we already knew about it. Hope you got something out of the video. Mainstream media is dumb as a stump. And if you believe a word they say, well, 
you wouldn't be watching our show, would you? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our new Patreons. Do you know that eight people are new Patreons in the last week? Yes, we love you. Without you, I will not be making videos this frequently. By the way, be safe. And that's a boom. Click on one of the other boxes illuminating around the square to gain more knowledge. And please, become a Patreon, share this video, do anything you can to support the work we do. We love you. And that is a boom. The mother knowledge. Be safe in the effing awesome classroom. It's hard to comply with the masses. They can kiss our...